everybody, I'm Teresa, and this is day four, in week four, that I'm out of school. And I read you chapter five of Amelia Bedelia Unleashed yesterday, so today I'll read you chapter six. Chapter six, Skates Up. The next afternoon, Amelia Bedelia's mother looked out the kitchen window. Uh-oh, she said. Storm clouds coming. It looks like it's going to rain cats and dogs. I hope not, said Amelia Bedelia. I hate to have a Saint Bernardin fall on my head. Besides, I have to meet Diana and Charlie in the park. Then take this umbrella, said her mother. Amelia Bedelia shook her head. That isn't big enough, she said. It couldn't save me from a falling chihuahua. Don't worry about that, said Amelia Bedelia's father. Even if it rains cats and dogs, you know the worst thing that can happen? Years of experience, mourned Amelia Bedelia. Not to ask, but she did anyway. No, Dad she said what's the worst thing that can happen i'm glad you asked said her dad if it rains cats and dogs you might step in a pool her father began to chuckle to himself may libidelia shudder involuntarily at the thought of stepping into perry that's the worst joke I've ever heard, she said. Her dad snorted and laughed really loudly. It was so embarrassing. Amelia Bedelia's mother rolled her eyes. I hope you realize, honey, she said, that no one enjoys your jokes more than you do. Amelia Bedelia arrived at the park one time, even though her mom made her drag along a dumb umbrella. She waited for Diana at the beach where they always met. Charlie and Perry arrived a few minutes later. Hey, said Charlie, where are the dogs? I'm not sure, said Amelia Odelia. Diana's late. I'll call her later. I can still walk Perry for you, if you want me to. Okay, said Charlie. Amelia Bedelia took Perry's leash, and they began to walk. She told Charlie about her dad's step in a poodle joke. Charlie laughed, and this time she did too. Actually, said Charlie, your dad's right. A long time ago, poodles were trained as hunting dogs. They were retrievers, and they splashed into ponds and through puddles. That's how they got their name. Amelia Bedelia couldn't wait to tell her dad that. Maybe her dad was smarter than even he thought he was. Up ahead, Amelia Bedelia saw the same bunch of skateboarders. Charlie had run into yesterday. They were hanging out right at the top of a long, steep hill. They're exactly where Amelia, Julia, Charlie, and Perry were heading. The skateboarders remembered Perry and Charlie. They started to laugh and hoot, and the tall one pushed his finger to his mouth to whistle, but Amelia Bedelia didn't give him a chance. She did want, she did what she did the, did best. She asked a question. How do you ride one of these things? She hoped on she hopped onto the deck of a skateboard and wobbled back and forth. Whoa! she yelled, waving her arms were balanced with an umbrella in one hand and Perry's leash in the other. 
it's super easy, said one of the guys. Just head downhill and lean from side to side like riding a wave on a surfboard. Suddenly, a squirrel bounced by hop, hop, hopping down the sidewalk. Perry took off after that squirrel like a rocket. The chase was on. Double wall, yelled Amelia Bedelia. She squatted down to keep her balance as Perry pulled her behind him. Perry may have looked slightly silly with his groomed and puppy coat, but under those fluffy pom-poms were strong, rippling music muscles. He pulled Amelia Bedelia along with no trouble at all. The squirrel raced ahead. Perry, barking happily, chased the squirrel and zipping behind them was Amelia Bedelia. Stop, stop, please. Stop, she hollered all the way down the hill. A long, steep sidewalk ended at a large circular fountain with a round pool that was deep enough for wadding. In the center was a statue of a mermaid that spit water into the sky. The mermaid reminded Amelia Bedelia of her mom spitting out her water at the dinner table. Even though she was scared, Amelia Bedelia began to giggle. Then she stopped. Amelia Bedelia was going so fast, she couldn't jump off. She wished her mom couldn't help her, could help her now. If she fell, she'd be one giant scab. She wished she'd ask that skateboarder another question. How do you stop? The squirrel zigzagged fur furiously, but kept heading for the fountain with Perry hot on its trail and Amelia Bedelia holding on for dear life. She leaned back, backward, forward, from side to side, twisting and turning to keep her balance. Amelia Bedelia heard shouting. She looked over her shoulder and saw Charlie. He was leading the pack of skateboarders who were cheering her on. Look at her! She's carving like an expert. What a natural! She'll get hurt! yelled Charlie. Just then, a, the squirrel darted to the left. So did Perry, yanking the leash out of Amelia Bedelia's hand. Now she was heading straight for the fountain. Amelia Bedelia leaned back. Pop! Went her umbrella as it opened behind her and began to slow her down. The front wheel of the skateboard jumped up into the rim of the fountain. The spitting mermaid was the last thing Amelia Bedelia saw before she shut her eyes. Charlie and the skateboarder saw the front end of the skateboard just clear the edge of the fountain. Amelia Bedelia leaned forward toward the mermaid statue to catch her balance. Then she leaned backward as far as she could. She rolled the, she rolled the rim of the fountain in a complete perfect circle. By the time she came around to where she had started, the skateboard had run out of steam. Amelia Bedelia jumped to the ground. The skateboarders and Charlie stood in stunned silence. They all let out a huge whoop and race toward her. Charlie was first to reach Amelia Bedelia. Are you all right? He asked. I guess so. Yep, she said. The skateboarders went wild. They hoist Amelia Bedelia onto their shoulders and carried her around and around the fountain. You're amazing! What a set 
of moves. How did you do that? Teach us how to ride like that. Like now. Amelia Bedelia laughed. Okay, but maybe some other day, she said. We won't put you down until you promise, said the guys. I promise, said Amelia Bedelia. But then she panicked. Where is Perry? Charlie pointed at a tree. Perry was leaping up on the trunk and barking. From a, from a high branch, a chattering squirrel hurled nuts at Perry's head. Mila, Bedelia, and Charlie ran over and grabbed Perry's leash. That was cool, Amelia Bedelia said to Charlie. It was amazing that you hung on to Perry's leash. Thanks. No problem, said Amelia Bedelia. I know, said Charlie. Let's go to Pete's Dino to celebrate. Today you can get two hot fudge sundaes for the price of one. Great, said Amelia Bedelia. She hopped her hoped her knees would stop shaking by the time they got there. Amelia Bedelia and Charlie spent the rest of the afternoon at Pete's. Charlie told her all about Perry and, and Poodles. Amelia Bedelia learned that Charlie's mom was passionate about Poodles, but that Perry was Charlie's responsibility. He fed Perry and walked Perry and even groomed and bathed Perry. My mom thinks I do a great job, Charlie said. She even entered Perry in a big dog show on Saturday night. She's sure well, she's sure well win first prize. You will, said Amelia Bedelia. Perry is amazing. Ba-boom! went a clap of thunder. It began to rain cats and dogs. Poor Perry was outside getting soaked. Amelia Bedelia pleased with Pete until he let Perry come inside just this once. Charlie parked Perry under the table in their booth. Quiet and out of the way, said Pete. I don't want anyone to step in in the poodle in a poodle. From under their table, Perry let out a huge yawn. It was a long time before Amelia Bedelia and Charlie could stop giggling. Bye everybody, we'll read you chapter 7 tomorrow.